And I'm going to call the village board meeting for January 14th, 2020 to order. And I would request that the clerk call the roll, please. Okay, Trustee Bingham. Present. Trustee Duncan. Here. Trustee Grendon. Here. Trustee Mansell. Here. Trustee Mitchell. Here. And Trustee Saylor. Here. Okay, um, I have just one little announcement before we rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, and that is uh, trustees and anybody in the audience, I would ask that you silence or turn off any electronic uh, devices, and that excludes the uh, FAP people, fire, ambulance, or police. So, Chief, you can keep your what you say? Okay, please rise for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance and we will take a brief moment of silence to honor our war heroes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Please be seated. <coughs> okay. We uh, probably won't have any public comments on agenda items, so we will move right into item six, the president's report. Oh, yeah, thank you, ma'am. Um, item four, I skipped over. I, the chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the previous board meeting and the December 18th. 2019 Committee of the Whole Meeting. Oh. Motion by the Vice President Duncan. Second. Second by Trustee Saylor. Discussion. Hearing no request to speak. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. We still don't have anybody for public comments, so we'll just move on. Uh, President's report. We recently had um, uh, two commissioners from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, uh, resign and so um, I am going to make the motion to appoint Mr. Steve Vyshinsky and Mr. Delmo Stewart as regular members of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Trustee Grundon. Discussion. Do they know that? <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Yes they do. I did call. Sure. Retired village employees, you got to be on the up and up with those guys. Anybody else with a good question? <laughs> Hearing no further requests to speak, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. And we, on the Zoning Board of Appeals, we always have an alternate. And uh, Lisa Miller. Uh, who also serves on our plan commission, has volunteered to uh, uh, serve as the alternate on the Zoning Board of Appeals, and yes, Trustee Saylor, I did ask her. And uh, that is a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second, second by the Vice President, by Vice President Duncan. Any discussion? Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Okay, I have, uh, uh, we're into the airport commission now. Um, everybody receives the minutes, I presume, from their meetings. Uh, I have not been out there in over a month, so I don't really have much to add to anything. I know that uh, the big co topic of conversation now is running services to the hangar from the city of Wisconsin Rapids. And uh, the city annexing the hangar, the new hangar area is also an item that they're talking about. Chief, do you know anything on that? I was just talking to Rapids and that process is moving forward and so okay. they are looking at getting annexed in so. Okay, thank you sir. Um, so hopefully everybody read them. Uh, airport managers Jeremy hopefully will be here next month. Um, Vice Chairman Bloom, Police and Fire Commission, sir. Mr. President and board members, we met as a Police and Fire Commission on 
January 6th at 6.30 p.m. after normal items in the beginning of our agenda, we went into closed session. We reviewed the um, background investigations and the interviews of two firefighters and two associate members. And we discussed the eligibility list, which there is none for the police department because everybody on it has since been hired since we made that eligibility list. Then we went into open session and in open session, we approved the appointment of two firefighters and two associate members of the fire department. They will be here at a later date for swearing in or pinning out whatever happens. And we agreed to accept applications to establish a new eligibility list where we'll be reading those at our first meeting in March. Our next regular meeting will be in March. And at that time we'll discuss what we're going to do to establish an eligibility list. Okay, that, that would be for the fire department? That would be for the, no, I'm talking about police department. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I jumped right into that from what we did for the fire department, but the police department eligibility. We had five good members on there that have all since been hired by other departments. So one thing it showed that we did a good job because they got hired real quick by these other departments. And, uh, but uh, it just puts us where we would like to interview more people. It's not like when I started police work when there's not that many applicants anymore. I mean, I, I, I remember getting 468 applications in Germantown when I was there once. Or um, I think we hired three, three positions at that time. But I had over 50 when I hired my first full-timer back in the old days when we rode horses to duty, you know. Right. And it just isn't that way anymore. There's just not that many applications. So other than that, if you have any other questions, um, that you maybe know that Chief Drew is at the new Chief's conference right now. So that's why he's not here tonight. Any questions for Vice Chairman Bloom? And you have a, another appointment uh, with your better half, so uh, we better cut you loose, sir. And thank you for that's coming in. The real boss. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Okay, uh, that'll move us into uh, Streets Infrastructure Recreation Cemetery Committee. Chairman Mitchell. Okay, we held our last meeting on December 10th, and uh, we had discussion on the no parking changes to an ordinance, and Chief Drew had sent us an email with the current no parking areas. Um, according to the ordinance and the committee then sent their recommendations on to public safety to be handled from there and I think it went on to planning the planning commission from there so and the other really the only other <coughs> piece of business that we had um, the public works um, had Ben Martinson gave us a kind of a brief look at the 2020 projects, but he also announced that he would come back in January to give us, January and February actually, to give us more detail on the priority of projects and what will happen in the coming year. Um, our president, had received some phone calls from residents thanking them for the public crew's work on removing snow and plowing and doing a good job and being on the ball doing that. And that was really all that happened. Questions Anybody? for Chairman Mitchell? Sure. Planning Commission has not received that not. request. Is that right? It actually came to Safety made. Committee and we're bringing it Oh, it's so it's in the process. Okay. They will. You, have you seen it? Oh, yeah. okay. It's in tonight's agenda. Didn't need to be a planning commission. It went from public safety, safety to, to, from street uh, to public safety. Oh, so it doesn't have to go to planning? No. But it is standard operating procedure that 
we uh, I probably dropped the ball on that as uh, we do let Pitt know since they are the overseers of the rules and regulations. So. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm bad, not you. So, I wasn't either. Yeah, yeah so well, I'm, I'm, I'm confused safety. too. So uh, when does an ordinance not have to go to planning? That's how you folks have your rules and regulations for your committees. And right now I don't see any written ones, therefore they usually come through the and learn as they go through. So it's one Which of is probably another major project for <clears throat> That's one of the things that was discussed when I went did interviews, and basically, it's it's not in the reply. My apologies. But you, I think you need to have positive procedures for what committee does what and what goes on. And documents not just for this group, but for the future. I already handed it off. <laughs> and so then it'll come. It's on the board for tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Cool. Trustee Grunin takes those last minute things so well, though. So that's why. It's very perfect. Okay. Anything else? If not, um, the Chairman uh, Bingham and Planning Property Information Technology Committee, and we didn't have anything. Since, since we didn't get anything on that ordinance, we didn't meet. No, I'm kidding. We didn't have anything <laughs> on the agenda. We didn't have any agenda items, and, and so we did. We did meet. Thank you, Trustee Bingham. Okay, moving into the Public Safety Committee. Chairman Grundit. We met January 7th. Um, from the, we have a couple of motions that come before the board, which two of them, my mistake, I didn't communicate clearly that they did not come, need to come before the board. However, on number four, the motion to approve the parking ordinance number 15 as presented. I would make that motion. If, if I may just interrupt. So you are removing motions? Uh, number two. Agenda item E2 and E3. Okay. Everybody's had a chance to look at those? Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. So I would make a motion that we approve parking ordinance number 15 as presented. Second. Motion by Chairman Grundon, second by Vice President Duncan to approve the parking ordinance number 15 as presented. Do we have discussion? Just want to elaborate on what those changes are for. Well, I can tell you, it's, it's, the, it's, <laughs> it's the locations in front of the schools that the schools are already painted yellow. Better watch right. it because we'll end up with an R rating. <laughs> and uh, in front of the splash pad, I think right. there's some space over there that's Color already splash yellow. Pad. Oh, they're just, the they're just through. The school yellow curb, no parking there. The lift, the lifting the no parking on the back side, is that Edwards yes, Avenue? That's lifting that. Line. And then providing the no parking in front of the splash pad for safety. Okay. And Chief Drew also reviewed all the other that have been in there for oh. years, correct, Dory? That's correct. Well, and there were some statutory circumstances there that this was, we did consult with Nick, and there were certain things like feet from fire hydrant and feet from driveway, and, and Ben Martinson did a drive by on all of that, and everything is cool stuff. Great. Further request to speak. All those in favor of the motion to approve ordinance uh, number 15 dealing with parking will signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion carries. Does anybody know if we've had communications with Nick regarding item? There, there has yes, been. Go ahead. Okay. I think Nick tried calling me on Friday, but. The communications have, I had communications with Nick on item number two. Do you want to, want to put that for discussion? Sure. I just wasn't curious. Go okay. ahead if you want. Yeah, and basically um, uh, there was a letter drafted, but I also had a personal conversation with uh, Adam Fisher. And Anna Fisher has nothing to do in management of that, that facility whatsoever. He's not involved at all. So there was no need for a letter to be drafted. And the only interest that he had was that he'd like to purchase in the future, if all possible. Is he opening the door? No. 
not even doing that. He's, okay. That's he's done. He's no interest. He's not he's not a property manager at all. Yeah. One other he thing. was going to be. Okay. One other thing to note, um, there Chief Drew has recommended and has put Brandon Abbott in the position of school resource officer. Okie dokie. Uh, Chairman Mitchell, moving on to finance and human resources. Um, we held our last meeting on January 9th, and rather than review the minutes, it really all has to do with the motions that are on your agenda. So I will begin, and I have no other comments to make. Um, so I move for the approval payment of the bills. Second. Motion by. Uh, Chairman Mitchell, second by Trustee Grundon to approve payment of the bills. Discussion? Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I also move to approve the journal entries of the previous month for December. Second. Motion, motion by Chairman Mitchell, second by Trustee Grundon to approve the journal entries uh, of the previous month. Uh, any discussion? Duane, was that just a uh, song? Okay. Yes. <laughs> any discussion? Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the next motion I will make is to approve the final public administration organization audit with the modifications that were made during the meeting of the Committee of the Whole. Motion by Chairman Mitchell, do I have a second? Second. Second by Trustee Mansell to approve the final public administration organization audit with the modifications that were made at the previous uh, Committee of the Whole. Any discussion? Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Okay, next. I move to approve the Public Administration <coughs> Associates proposal for interim administrative services for the village. Motion by uh, Chairman Mitchell. To approve the Public Administration Associates proposal for interim administrative services. Second. Second by Vice President Duncan. Discussion. Under discussion, I just would like to say that the services will be provided by Mr. Duane Gao, and that will be at three days per week. Are we splitting this motion, or this is all just that we just did? That's just the part I only okay. did. This. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor of the motion to approve Public Administration Associate Proposal for Interim Administrative Services will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, can I go ahead and make the second? You That's sure the, can, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> um, I move to approve the Public Administration Associates Proposals for the village administrator recruitment services. Motion by Chairman Mitchell to approve the public administration associate proposal for village administrative administrator recruitment services. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Vice President Duncan. Discussion. Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Division. And we will ask the clerk to call the roll. Okay, Trustee um, Bingham? Nay. Trustee Gr or Duncan? Aye. Trustee Grundon? Aye. Trustee Mansell? Aye. Trustee Mitchell? Aye. Trustee Saylor? Aye. President Serflu? Aye. And that carries five to two. Uh, 
Okay, next motion. Um, I move to approve the public administration. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Scratch that. I move to designate the clerk treasurer to be the official contact person representing the village on the 2020 Wisconsin Rapids Group Complete Count Committee, parentheses, the CCC, and for her to be paid an hourly wage at time and a half if the meetings are outside bus normal business hours. Second. Motion by Chairman Mitchell, second by Trustee Grundon. Uh, to designate Clerk Treasurer Treble to be the official contact person representing the village in the 2020 Wisconsin Rapids Group Complete Count Committee, uh, the CCC, and for her to be paid an hourly wage at time and one half hours if outside of her normal working or business hours. Discussion. Can I just ask what that is? Is that for the census? Uh, yeah. Uh, Duane, you, you should be a good time. Could you just give a brief summary of, of the uh, importance of the clerk treasurer? Uh, first of all, it's the 2020 census, and uh, there's a lot of minority activity has occurred on that, and our clerk treasurer has been involved quite extensively already. At this point, the, the now there's been effort, emphasis involved in trying to get the public more involved in public notification of it. The process that the census works through is either you can have your own complete count committee or you can join a group. In our case, uh, Wisconsin Rapids has already started a group and the conclusion was that for not to be approved, we, we should conclude that we should have a representative at that group. And furthermore, the, the one that knows the most about the community's population, who's all here, such as our clerk treasurer, and therefore, they look, the group, the census group was looking for a representative from Fort Edwards to send that, to be part of that group, and that's why this is in front of us. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of the work already has been done by the clerk treasurer already on the census process. The big thing now is make sure it becomes, we as a community make sure that the reason we gotta, gotta get public, public, publicized. Also, it's very important for the census because it has an effect on, on the communities on long-term development of federal funds or state funds. Thank you, sir. <coughs> okay, anybody, no discussion? Okay, all those in favor of the motion um, to designate the clerk treasurer to be the contact person for the village 2020 Wisconsin Rapids Complete Count Committee, Triple C, and for her to be paid at the hourly wage of time and a half if outside Normal business hours will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Madam Chairman. Uh, I have nothing more. Okay, thank you. Report. Okay, John, you're on, or Trustee, or Chairman Bingham, you're on because it's a planning commission. Motion to approve ordinance number 16. Do I have a second to second. Chairman Bingham's? Motion and second by Trustee Grundon. You want to explain a little bit on that, uh, Chairman Bingham? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Nice uh, try. It's uh, we had some requests to uh, get into compliance uh, with surrounding community communities regarding detached garages, square feet. It, pre it previously was or currently is 960 square feet. Uh, everything else stays the same. It's recommended that that be changed to 1,200 square feet. And uh, we had some residents request that. We looked at surrounding communities and we feel that that uh, is the planning, the plan commission felt that was an appropriate uh, change. Thank you, sir. Administrator Gow, you have anything to add? No, it's done very well. Okay. <laughs> All right, anybody else? Hearing no further requests to speak, all those in favor of the motion to approve ordinance number 16 as presented, dealing with the size of detached garages, will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No aye. Nay. Okay. And one nay, uh, Trustee Randall. Nay, nay. I got it first. Is that two? <laughs> you only get one vote. Nay. <laughs> this is in Cook County. I spent summer in Chicago. I know how they work down there. 
Okay, unfinished business from previous meetings. Uh, new business uh, would be a motion to approve the WCCSM for village properties to be sold to Bruner Timber Products. And I will make that as a motion. Do I have a second? Second, second by Trustee Grundon. Discussion, and first I will turn it over to the administrator to explain a little bit about that, if you would please. Sure, this is the uh, properties that are on the north side of 6th Street, or 6th Avenue. Right. And uh, it, it did go through uh, a zoning change from, from actually occurring from residential to manufacturing. Uh, this is a piece of property this village owns and has been working on for several homes a year to dispose of it. And basically what we had a offer of purchase disposal subject to the zoning change. The trust said the village board has made made that zoning change and part of the court process of conclusion of the actual sale is that the, there would be a certified survey being completed by the persons, people who are purchasing it. That has been completed. That's in the intent of the motion is that you get the certified survey approved by the, by the village board tonight. And then they're on the actual sale or the deposit funds can be finalized. Okay, any questions? Where, is the, money, where is the money go? Usually when you uh, sale a property, if you have a designated location, you can designate it, but it usually goes definitely into your general fund. Unless the, uh, to be honest with you, the village board can actually designate it to go to a different location if you already don't have the designated to a certain portion. I'd per, I would uh, suggest, I think that would probably be a separate motion that we'd explore, and I don't know whether this would go to finance or human resources. That's HR, yeah. Uh, but I think we should consider setting up a separate fund that that money would be earmarked towards development or um, business development, something to that effect. Uh, to try to increase tax base, whatever, trying to stir development within the village um, so that we have funds for that if need be. Chairman Mitchell is writing feverishly, so I presume that will be on the February agenda for FHR? I will do that. And so those, this complete all the requirements for the closing? Yes. So everything will be done after tonight. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, no further questions. All those in favor of the motion will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. And then technically, do we need a motion to have this reviewed or is it just a request? No. I don't think I need a motion. No, you, uh, Sue but, will put it on her right. agenda. You are correct, sir. And the closing is tentative. Is there a tentative date? Um, there's no real closing. There's no closing date. We had to meet all these requirements and then. Yeah, close most it. of the time there isn't closings in the old fashioned sitting on a table and that's correct. Keys. It's pretty. It's all done over by paperwork anymore. So mm -hmm. uh, we should have some time before the money is distributed to actually have the FHR. What normally occurs is that the money is going to come out of deposit in the general fund if there is a movement of where you want it located, then we need to work to set up a separate location to hold those funds for a purpose behind it. All right. Okay. Uh, keep on talking, Duane. Administrator's report. Okay. Um, the administrator's report, one of the things that would be occurring now once that you have improved the organizational audit, in the organizational audit there is a large chart of actual milestones I will use benchmarks to meet. I'll be going through those benchmarks, um, to looking at when we can look at certain things to come forward, to be uh, moved forward to to a committee or move forward to the village board for final action. And so there are several in there. They're all not going to occur at one time, but there are some that we need to, I would think that's one of the, um, pro one of the portions that was in my contract to do is make sure that we start working on So that's one thing I'll be working on. And then the other thing is um, 
I'm going to let you know there's going to be a few, uh, the next uh, CERT committee, there's about three items that's uh, one of the ones that is going to be on us, something I talked about as a as a whole, is the uh, process of the building inspection procedure and what's going to happen. So that will be on the agenda for CERC. Uh, we tend to put the agenda together so it'll show up there for the chairman for CERC to see that portion of it. And I think uh, Ben's already put two more items on the CERC coming up. So that, that's something that you'll see in the future. And the action that just occurred recently, I got wrote down here, is FNHR for use of funds. That'll be also working on that piece for you. Okay, I'd just like to remind uh, the chairman that uh, you are the final authority on your uh, agendas for your committees. And make sure that you review them and respond back to uh, Diane or Kim who sends them out. And if there's something on there that you don't particularly care for, um, contact Duane or you don't want to uh, have a discussion with him. But you are the final authority. Employees cannot add anything to that. Uh, technically, they should all be channeled, and I'm sure Mr. Martinson did go through you. Yes, he right. we and that's, that's how they get on the agenda. And the final item I wanted to bring up is that. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. So that's okay. That's, the final item I'm going to bring up is that I uh, appreciate the extension of the contract, but I want you to know that I will not be here for about two weeks. I'll be in Florida. But again, I want everybody to know that it will be available by phone or by email to have contact with the board members or any staff members that need any assistance. Thank you, sir. All righty. Uh, just one comment. Just remember that it's a lot cooler here than Florida in the summer, so I say that to make sure that you do come back. My wife wants to stay there, but I'll be coming back. <laughs> well, you can work that out. I also give you the warning that usually when there's a weird event that takes place in the paper, it's based out of Florida, so just be very careful. I think we better move on now. Madam Clerk. Okay, I'd like to ask for a motion to award the full-time employee the $50 Chamber Gift Certificate as a safety award for no workers' comp compensation lost time claims in 2019 Move. and 23 years without a lost time incident. Wow. Motion by Vice President Duncan. Second. Second by Trustee Mansell. Discussion? Congratulations. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, go ahead. Well, I'm just going to say congratulations to the employees. It's fantastic. <clears throat> hey, no other request to speak. All those in favor of the motion as read by the village clerk will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, I'd also like to ask for a motion to approve the length of service award payment for 2019 qualifying firefighters in the amount of $300.91 per firefighter and the annual corresponding maintenance fee of $500 plus $15 per firefighter. And I do have the Final amount is seven thousand four hundred twenty dollars and two cents. Second. Or, um, yes. Move. Sorry. Second. Motion by Trustee Grundon. Second by Vice President Duncan. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing no request to speak. All those in favor of the motion as read by the village clerk will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Abstain. Technically, it's, it's the what you should do since he's receiving the financial amount. Yeah, but it does not be anywhere close to 51% of his income. Well, okay. well okay. I, understand his, I understand his point. I understand his point. I do the same. Capsule. I, I went through any time anything was going to benefit my kids in the school district, I abstained. Chief Arndt, would you rescue me here, please? <laughs> anything on the fire department that you'd like to add or? At this time. Okay. All righty. Trustees' comments. I had a couple people approached me on the snow removal, how good that's going. So I want to let you know, and I will catch Ben and let him know, getting some really cool feedback. Well, you know, the thing that is really noticeable is on the main drags, like 3rd Street or Bunker. I mean, he had him go out last week, and uh, I think they used the belly blade on the one truck to scrape the ice and they've been salting the length of that too. And today, I mean, it really wow. cleared up pretty well. It's been nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, my driveway. <laughs> Can't do private property, sir. Yeah, I know. I feel like I can 
start at the top and just skate down to the bottom. Anybody else? Trustee comments. Um, who, Diane, are you the purveyor of our registered voters? Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you get instructions about anything pertaining to registered voters, that comes through the state and they notify you? If someone registers online, you mean? Or if there's anything that has to be done. Today, the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals in Chicago um, put a rider and prevented the state of Wisconsin from purging the voter mm -hmm. lists. Today. And that's the state that does that anyway. Correct. Yep. And so they, they will notify you. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Okay. Just was curious. So that's all I had. Good okay. Committee calendar. We will start with uh, a week from today, January 21st, Tuesday, CERT Committee at 5 o'clock here at the Marshall Beeler Center in the committee room. January 28th, Tuesday, Planning Legislative Property and Information Technology Committee will meet at 5 p.m. in the committee room of the Marshall Beeler Center. And you do, I, I presume, taking a month off, you do have a pretty good agenda coming up for this one. Not much. I will not be here on the 28th. Okay. Well, Central Illinois, then moving or going from there to Chicago. So. So the 28th is the planning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pit. Yeah. Okay. What do you you know something I don't? No, no. I was just wondering. I mean, usually when you take a month off, then that. Well, the only thing we were going to have is off already. No. Oh. Well, right. hopefully we'll have that pit meeting on the uh, 28th of January. Uh, February 3rd, a Monday, Police and Fire Commission will meet at 6.30 p.m. in the Municipal Building. February 4th, Tuesday, the Public Safety Committee will eat at, will not eat, will meet at 5 p.m. In, in the Marshall Beeler Center Committee Room. And on February 6th, Thursday, Finance and Human Resources will meet at 5 p.m. in the committee room, Marshall Beeler Center. And on February, February 11th, Tuesday, the Village Board will meet at 7 p.m. here in the boardroom of the Marshall Beeler Center. Yes, Chief. Your Police and Fire Commission, it's in March. They didn't have one in February. They what? They're not having a meeting in February. Okay. It's in March. So scratch uh, Monday, February 3rd. And I want to fill in on that. Remember that on February 3rd at 6 p.m. here in the Marshall Beeler Center, there will be a special publication that no village business will be discussed during the uh, village board training session. It will start at 6 p.m. with Steve Cruiser, the Wood County Emergency Management Director. And he will be talking about uh, something that the vice president requested, the storm damage of last summer and the do's and don'ts of that. And we'll also get into the NIM system of setting up, you know, command center and, and whatnot. What then at 7 o'clock. What time was that? 6 o'clock it starts. Six. Then at 7 p.m., Nick Apps will be here for a refresher on the do's and don'ts of committees and the board. That's on the third. Third, yes, sir. Okay. And we'll meet back in the uh, committee room. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Grundy. We stand adjourned.